So he wrote this book, obviously, to pass on the lessons that he learned. And I got to make a note here and read a little section because he talks about Henry de Boer, who showed us how to die. So this took place in the Korean War. And I'll go right into it. They're in a big firefight. And here's Hackworth. I saw a soldier prone on the ice. He'd been there a long time. I thought he was dead. But then I saw movement and I rushed out to get him. My God, I thought. It's de Boer. Private Henry C. de Boer had been with George Company since early in the war. He was one of the few survivors from the original 3rd Platoon, basically because in those first hard months of combat, he had not seen even one good firefight. He had an uncanny sixth sense. He could always tell when the platoon was in for a major bloodletting, and invariably, he'd find an excuse to be somewhere else. So here's a guy that Hackworth is saying this guy was avoiding combat, yeah, yeah. <laughs> finding excuses. Normally, that excuse was going on sick call, which by regulation he was allowed to do, and you couldn't stop him even though you knew the only thing that was wrong with him was a chronic case of cowardice. So absolutely, he's being called a coward. De Boer himself even admitted he was a coward, and we hated him for it. He was an outcast from the platoon. We even had a little song about him, which we'd sing in unison. Out of the dark, dreary Korean countryside comes the call of the Deboer board. Sick call, sick call, sick call. He'd pulled, this, he'd pulled his stunt only yesterday as we were saddling up for this very operation. He'd sensed the bloodletting all right, but he hadn't figured that the foggy overcast covering the battlefield would not lift and the attack would be postponed. He'd returned from the dock last night with a clean bill of health most surprised to see us. The rest of the platoon took great pleasure in the fact that his malingering little ass would be in the thick of things in the morning. So he, there was a big operation planned and he was supposed to go on it. He snuck out, went to sick call, said he's sick. The, the, the operation got postponed because of weather. He shows back up and here he is in the scrap. <laughs> Praying that he missed it. Right. Did miss it. Now... Back to the book. Now, De Boer was ashen-faced, hit in the chest or gut. I don't know, there was a lot of blood, and well into shock. I knew he wasn't going to make it. Come on, De Boer, you're gonna be fine. You'll be all right, I said, giving him the old pep talk as I grabbed his jacket collar and started sliding him across the ice. But De Boer said, no, Sarge, just leave me. You're gonna get hit. Just leave me, Sarge. Then suddenly he groaned, Sarge, I shit my pants. And that was it. He was gone. I left him and ran back. De Boer, in death, became one of the greatest heroes of our outfit. It was true he'd never been anything in his army life but a coward. But he died right. He died like a man. He didn't say, take care of me. He said, leave me. Take care of yourself. And when I told the other guys the story, old De Boer became a legend in the platoon. So that's the kind of thing that Hackworth saw as a young leader. 